Hey yo, Wastelanders, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome to another Fallout 76 Tips and Tricks video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get roughly 12,000 ammunition in less than half an hour of playing Fallout 76. This does not require any special builds, it does not include duping, anyone can do this. It's an earnest way to get, essentially, infinite ammo. So stay tuned, and let's get into it. All right, welcome back everybody. Hope you're all doing wonderful today. As mentioned, this is a, a guide just to specifically get ammo. And as you can see here, I'm sitting on 3,200 lead scrap, which is required to craft ammunition. If I go over to my Tinker's workbench, I can literally craft ammo for days. So how do I get all this lead to craft this ammo, you might wonder. That's what today's video is gonna be all about. Anyone can do this. All I recommend is that you grab traveling agent to ruse the caps of traveling around, because that's the only cost. And as well as if you have pick lock rank two, uh, uh, that'll come in handy for uh, like two spots to get you some bonus goodies but it's not required at all there's going to be two parts to this video where i just get pure lead from weights and then part two is where i get enough ore to get a thousand lead roughly from mining but in order to mine you need to have the excavator power armor which allows you to mine four times the amount of lead when mining and you all you have to do to get that is port to the garahan mining headquarters a quest will pop up to read a sign and it'll take you through an intense 10 minutes you'll have the power armor but you need to be level 25 in order to use it so if you have that then you're good to go let's get right on in with the guide first things first i'm going to show you guys all the locations that i hit up just in case you already know where they are and you just want to know where a few extras are there's also going to be some ballistic fiber bonuses in this video so depending on where your map is situated mine is here right beside the charleston station it's going to change the order of which you do things i always start from my camp obviously and the first place i'm going to hit green country law that's a pretty popular spot most people know about it then I pop up to the vault tech university and then I hit up the eastern regional penitentiary then I jump over to palace of the winding path now there are the silos you can go to the silos and get lead from those uh, however I have not done that on this character I'm not in the enclave so this is basically a way for beginners to get lead and obviously it's gonna help if you're on a private server like I am with fallout first so then after we've hit up those places we're head back to my camp and then we head up Charleston Fire Department. We're going to pop over to the kill box, down to the sludge works. And then last but not least, we're going to hit up the monorail elevator. And as I said, you can also hit up the silos if you're in the enclave and a high level character. That should be an extra bonus for you. But there's going to be a part two to this video where we go to the Lucky Hole Mine and get a whole bunch of lead ore. And we're going to smelt that down with the acid we get from Hemlock Holes Maintenance Workshop. So why don't we get started starting with the green country lodge okay so you're gonna pour it in here and you're gonna see the green country lodge right there uh you will get a couple mole rats popping up here usually there's usually about two or three there's always gonna be a possum here no mole rats today that's interesting turn on your flashlight there should be a roach here that you kill and here's your lead one two three four five six seven eight now you're gonna be overweight so we're gonna have to head over to a scrapping station i haven't really found one in this building maybe i haven't looked really hard enough i know there is one just down the street we pass under this bridge and it's the second house on the right so we're gonna pass by this house that house right there with the little blue responder sign is the one we're looking for and paint cans also give lead so don't and tin cans as well so don't forget to grab these while you're here and there's some, some enamel buckets paint cans and concrete and canisters scrap here and we're done this part next now we're going to head over to the vault tech university okay this is where it spawns you in as you can see on the map we are here and we're just gonna head right on into the front door of the main building that big red door right there and there's two spots in the university that we're gonna get our lead so you're gonna have some low level baddies in here once you get in there'd be a couple right in the main room here just plow them down and uh, there's usually one that comes running from upstairs somewhere so the first thing you're gonna do when you get into the building is turn right Again, there's going to be some more baddies in this room. And then the uh, last door on your left before the exit is the weight room. So we're going to come in here and you're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, getting stuck seven eight nine ten ten lead bars well we're going to show you how much this all scraps down to at the very end but we hit up the scrap bench right here and we're going to get 38 lead it's from scrapping that so i hear some more baddies what you're going to do next is head straight across to the training entrance and then there's a door here doesn't require hacking or anything to get in you're just going to go security door open door back out and then you head straight down the stairs 
so yeah you just jump straight down and here you go there's a workout room and then the, the weights are here one two three four five now it is gonna over encumber us and the only scrapping station that i know of is the one that we previously got so we're just gonna head straight back up the stairs back into the room where we got the scrapping station and we'll scrap this down and we got another 24 lead and now we're done with vault -Tec university so we're gonna hop over to the eastern regional penitentiary okay we are at the eastern penitentiary now and this is where it spawns you in you're just gonna head straight down the rocks and follow the uh, building on the left hand side and you're gonna have to kill some super mutants however they're really low level super easy to kill level 10s just rip them out there's gonna be one in each guard tower there should be one up above here just pick them off you might run into some uh floaters as well there's a floater there should be one on this tower as well there'll be some in these buildings but here is where all the lead is right here in the center court so one two three four five six seven eight nine you're dead so nine pieces of ore from that or lead kill some super mutants oh looks like we got them both with one shot lucky lucky and that's pretty much it you're, you've cleared out the super mutants you've got your nine dumbbells you're gonna scrap down here and you're gonna get 69 lead from this location now normally if I, I already have this workshop i jump straight over to palace of the windy path but we're gonna want this workshop for part two of the video so let's head right over to hemlock holes now for you, those of you who don't know hemlock holds gives crystal gold and acid acid is really important uh, it caps out at 10 every time you come back to the site you will get 30 acid so it's it's good to try to port here as often as possible for that acid and we're going to use the acid for the crazy amount of lead that lead ore that we get from the mines and that's a completely optional thing if you want to do it this this run alone should get us about four to five hundred lead so you don't need to do part two but part two will get you probably a thousand plus lead so we just claim our workshop wait to take it and we're going to quickly set up our defenses and resources all right, and just like that, we have taken the workshop. As you can see, we are mining from all these. We are done here. Let's head straight over to the next lead location, which is the Palace of the Winding Path. All right, we have spawned in at the Palace of the Winding Path. This is where you're going to spawn. You're just going to rip along the entrance on the, the right-hand side. I mean, it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is get in. Once we're inside, we will uh, orientate ourselves so that you can figure out exactly where the weight room is. So I usually just come up along the left-hand side or the right-hand side. And I usually try to find the main entrance because it helps me situate myself. So based on the front door where the big three staircases is, I always know to go left. So I guess, uh, yep, there's an employees only door. We head on in here. There's gonna be a couple ghoulies. They are fairly high level, but you shouldn't have too much of an issue. They're level 40, 68 there, but they're just regular scorch. You blast those guys down and head straight to the back of the hall. You'll see some stairs here on the right and boom, there's your lead. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's it. And then we head downstairs. There's gonna be a couple more ghoulies. Open this door and in here you will find your scrapping station right here chemistry scrap that down 29 29 more lead and we've pretty much cleared it out for the top hand side if you want to do nuke silos as i mentioned earlier you can do that but from here we're gonna head right down to my camp and hit up the next location so here we are in my camp again if you have your camp at the top of the map you might want to do the order differently maybe start here work your way down and from here you would already you know green country lodge would have been your third or fourth location and from there you're gonna fast travel down to charleston fire department so here we are we've spawned at the fire uh, charleston fire department this is between this and green country lodge these are the two most popular spots in the game for lead a lot of the new players stumble across this they know about it so if you are on a private server chances are it's all taken one way to know is if these phones are taken most people come in here they'll take the phones if the door is open and this stuff is gone somebody's most likely been here but on a private server you have nothing to worry about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so probably the biggest hall of all the locations and hence why it's one of the most popular and we just come around the corner and there are all the scrappy stations there's some good junk here if you want to grab some of that stuff why not and then we scrap down and what do we end up getting 87 lead right there now our next spot we're gonna he head over to the kill box okay 
We have spawned in at the kill box. There's always going to be a guard on that tower. Here we are on the map if you want to see it one more time. And we're just going to head on in. These guys are super low level. I think level 10. Let's see here. Level 4. So you shouldn't have any issues clearing this out. I just come over this car. Head on in to here. This is the way I enter. You can enter it any way you like, but I find this to be the easiest way. We're just going to drop down here, and this sh little shack is what we're looking for. Head up the stairs, and there's a pile of lead here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this is one of my favorite spots for the lead run. Even though we only got six lead there, there's a nice little bonus over here. So, we come inside. There's the scrap station if you need it. A couple enemies that we want to kill. There's a lot of, you know, good junk and stuff on these shelves. If you want to clear them out but the spot i highly recommend you check out and uh, it's a must have for me every time i come here it's the second floor here but i'm quickly going to run upstairs to clear out any remaining enemies just so i don't get annoyed by them walking around so this door here this yellow room is locked you need two lock pick to open it and Every time I come in here, you usually get a magazine or a bobblehead. Okay, not every time. <laughs> Scratch that. Generally, there's usually a magazine or a bobblehead there. It's a random spawn, but you get some circuit boards, and this is what's important. Military grade duct tape. That's ballistic fiber right there. More military duct tape and military ammo bag. Why are those important? Because you scrap those and you get ballistic fiber. So if we come over to our scrap bench, we ended up getting what? 32 lead and six ballistic fiber. And I will show a little bonus clip of me getting more ballistic fiber after we've finished the lead run. So after we've cleared out the kill box, and now we're done, we're gonna head down to the sludge works. Okay, we have spawned in right here at the sludge works, and this is the entrance here. This is gonna give you a little bit of a fight, depending on how strong you are. They may only be level 14 to 20 here, but they do have laser weapons. They, you know, they're well equipped, let's put it that way. So you'll come in here and you're gonna get, you're gonna have to fight your way through, but there is, uh, if you just kill everybody and loot everything, it's actually quite a good EXP run and loot run. As you can see, there's junk everywhere, good junk you know acid duct tape you know circuit boards there's all sorts of good stuff in here so you might want to take your time and clear it out but I, for the sake of this video i'm gonna haul through here for the sake of the lead run i just kind of come in here murder everybody as fast as possible and move on with life it's certainly a good place to come get some exp and junk looks like we've killed them all and you're gonna head right to the back here where the tinker bench is and you'll find all the lead here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten boom and then grab some of this stuff too while you're at it now we scrap down and we got 53 lead another really good haul right there and now we're gonna head over to our last location which is the monorail elevator 21 caps i suggest putting a camp down there if you can or having a travel agent okay this is where you spawn in as you can see on the map this is where i'm at looking at the monorail ele elevator there it is and what i'm actually gonna do is if you have fallout first uh, I, I highly recommend you throwing down a survival tent if you don't have follow-up first, maybe you might not even want to come here because I have not uh, found a workbench in this area. I mean, sure, you could probably come here, waddle around the wasteland and try to look for a workbench. You can figure that out for yourself, but I'm telling you that I haven't found one, but I also haven't looked that hard. So you're just going to head up the elevator here. And once we're at the top, this is actually one of the better spots. Uh, I haven't actually counted it up, but what we got like 15 at the Charleston Fire Department. Let's see how many we get here. Now, there's some stuff over here. There's some like tokens and stuff on this ledge and all sorts of junk you can grab that stuff if you want headed over here we have here's more lead one two three four five six seven eight nine and some concrete bags so nine right there 10 11 12 13 14 15 so just as good as the charleston fire department maybe not as good because the the other lead the other weights weigh more and we could just turn around or if you go to the other side the both the elevators kind of can take you both back down so it doesn't matter which side you came in and i'm just going to leave out the side we came because it's closer to our tent this is the last spot of the main lead run which doesn't require any additional trips or work so this is what we're going to do now we're going to scrap everything and you can see well hold on because i'm scrapping down here at my scrap box it's going to throw it all in there so two ways to check how much lead we got from this lead scrap 389 plus what we're going to scrap here 71 so that's 460 yes and just to show you here my lead scrap 
we're at seven seventeen hundred and forty one we deposit all of this and we're at twenty two hundred so that's four hundred and sixty lead in like less than twenty minutes that's freaking insane and with that with super duper let's uh do the math that should be enough to craft you roughly four thousand ammunition for maybe uh, four thousand five five six for me that is huge that is a ton to last me for a while and with super duper probably get even more so a lot more so maybe four five thousand just from that and you're good on ammo for a while but we can't end that video off there because i have another tip to get a boatload of lead and because we recently took this workshop why don't we hop up there and show you all the acid that we got so i have to defend and it's usually anglers to be honest and anglers are a great source of adhesive. It's really good. Um, our turrets are working away, but we have to come here to, you know, finish them off. It's super easy. Kill all these. And look, look at all the stuff we get. Angler meat, adhesive, as asbestos, lots of good stuff. Just like that, we've defended our workshop. We want to head over here and make sure everything is repaired. And now <clears throat> we clear out our acid. We did the lead run so fast in between that these acid extractors didn't even have time to fully fill up. But if you give it about a half an hour and you come here, there'll be about 10 acid in each one and they cap out at 10 so don't just let it sit there for hours and hours and hours check back in on it between things that you're doing and you can always travel to your workshops for free you're going to want to farm the acid for as long as possible and that's why whether you're on a private server or a public server you want to take it right away the moment you log in make sure that your play session is a good investment that you're getting lots of acid out of this workshop so there you go we've gotten our acid let's head back to we're going to head to our tent and then we're going to right there is the lucky hole mine and that's where we're going let's get into it so this is where we spawn in at the lucky hole mine after we fast traveled from our tent and you can see where we are near the monorail still there'll be a few enemies here and there'll be some inside but they're really uh they're only level 40 they're not the hardest oh i guess 66 on that one but yeah they're humanoids they're not that hard you're not gonna have to worry about any death claws or anything terrifying like that yeah this is the entrance to the lucky hole mine so you can see it there on the map again now one thing a lot of people don't really know is that the excavator power armor lets you mine four times the amount of ore as well as it gives you an extra 100 100 pounds carry weight so for me you know i'm a i'm a bloodied build and i use unyielding armor so i don't really use power armor but excavator armor is my favorite because of reasons like this and i'll show this to you guys here we'll find a, a lead ore but you just come into this mine you're going to clear everybody out there's going to be baddies everywhere but what you're really looking for are the out oak crops like these little uh nooks you also find these little carts it's always good to check the carts because there should be lead in some of them kill some baddies this is what i'm talking about these little nooks you can see the lead right there and there so if i mine it i get one lead ore that's terrible what we do is we pull out our power armor excavator armor and if you don't have this and you want to know where you get it all you got to do is go to garahan mining headquarters you'll find when you get there a quest will pop up saying look for a sign there's a sign you click it the quest will start and it'll get you to check some computers it'll give you the plans you have to craft the armor scan the armor in and you're done it's that easy it'll take you 10 minutes but you have to be level 25 to use the power armor i highly recommend you wait for 45 because then you don't have you know you want to craft the level 45 version of the armor so now that we're in our power armor turn our flashlight on now look how much ore we get four lead and i think it lets you mine them extra so every one of these that we're clicking i clicked that four times i got four lead ore each time so look how much lead is here and we're getting four for each click so right there we just got a well, let's find out we've already gotten 32 ore and we're gonna smelt this down with super duper and get even more so you're just gonna come through here and look for all these like dugouts and you're gonna find them all over the place however long you want to spend down here is up to you but the harder you look the more you will find but as you can see if we just come to all these little nooks and crannies boom more lead ore so basically i'm just gonna uh cut to it when i'm done i'm gonna run through this whole mine get as much ore and show you how much i have all right so i searched through a little bit here we have 285 lead ore not as quite as i normally get i think i got 350 i think zell's gotten more than that but we almost got 300 there i think that's good enough 
off. Let's head back to my camp and show you how much we get from just that. But if you look thoroughly, you can actually get a lot more. So here we are. We're back in my camp and we're going to go over to the chemistry station. You're going to make sure you're going to want to have um, super duper on. So it's a level 50 perk card. If you get three ranks into it, when you craft anything, there's a 30% chance you get double the results. And that means if we go to smelt this ore down, we can have a chance to get double the results. So if we go down to our lead scrap, this is why you're going to want the acid farm, the workshop. Getting lots of acid means you can complete, you know, smelt down everything completely. So we're going to smelt down all this and you'll hear it procking, proc, 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 proc. You know, each time we do this, we get five lead scrap and a chance to get 10. So we're just going to craft the crap out of this and we will see how much lead ore or lead scrap we end up with at the end and we've scrapped it all and as you can see i'm running low on acid i only have 80 left but that is quite fine because throughout my play session today i will keep porting back to hemlock homes for free and clearing out the acid there 30 acid every 30 minutes we've only used up probably 120 acid to smelt all that i'll have my acid back in just a few hours of playing so let's see how much we got in this haul 945 lead scrap plus the 460 we got from the regular run which means we got about 1395 i think roughly 1400 lead now with 1400 lead if we go over and throw on ammo smith we're gonna craft twice as much ammo or 80 percent more with super duper a chance to proc 1400 lead if i were to craft ammo i'm crafting 556 five, so 36 rounds of ammo for every six lead 1400 divided by six is 233 so if we craft 233 back Batches of 36, it's 8,400 ammo with 30% of that giving us double. We'll come up with at least 12,000 ammo from that run. And it took us less than half an hour. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, 12,000 ammo in less than half an hour. Boom. All of that will respawn. So if you do it at the beginning of your play session, at the end of your play session, then you should have between 12,000 to 24,000 ammo per play session. That is absolutely insane. That's basically infinite ammo. I've never had a single ammo issue in this game and I sell all of my extra ammo for the guns I'm not using for a cap each. Now, as a bonus, because you guys are already here and I like you, let me show you one extra thing. From my camp, we're gonna head over to Camp McClintlock. If you're looking for ballistic fiber, we're gonna show you where you get some. So I showed you at the kill box, that one little special room we got like six ballistic fiber for. You're going to need ballistic fiber to repair your armor. Now, one thing that I do, uh, it's seven ballistic fiber to repair each piece of armor. That's just not feasible not feasible at all so what you want is the perk card white knight it reduces the cost of repairing armor and that means it will reduce it to one to two ballistic fiber so you reduced it from seven down to two so now you're not using nearly as much ballistic fiber and here you are at camp mcclintlock you're going to spawn here and just a quick run of ballistic fiber to show you guys how i get uh i add this to my run and i have never had issues repairing my armor you come right into the room you're going to get a military ammo bag right there on the right you can get a ton of clipboards if you look around if you need screws you can get them from these clipboards they are all over the place just have a look around you'll see them all over the floors there's a bunch more here you can grab a typewriter here come to the back boom another bag done that's two and i believe you get two uh, ballistic fiber from each bag so there you go you come out the back door you're gonna see a bunker there just keep down the road until you see the car or the uh military vehicle go inside the military vehicle there'll be a bag right there that's three bags duct tape military duct tape gives you two as well so that's four four things that give um, ballistic fiber at the very back that's five and from here we're just gonna head all the way down this path to the very back once you get to this little area here there's a shack you come into this shack there's one bag right here and one here. So you just got seven things that scrap down into, I believe, 14 ballistic fiber. Let's go find out. Go to our scrap box, 14 ballistic fiber. And as you can see here, I have 213 ballistic fiber. I never have issues repairing my high-end unyielding armor, and I don't have any issues with crafting ammo with 3,000 lead scrap. Can convert that into just insane amounts of ammo. So once again, if you guys need a refresher, if you're gonna start from the top of the map, you can always start from here. Palace of the Winding Path, Eastern... 
uh, Regional Penitentiary, down to Vault Tech University, down to Green Country Lodge, hit up Camp McClintock on the way, then Charleston Fire Department, the Kill Box, Sludge Works, pop over to the Monorail Elevator, and last but not least, clear out the Lucky Hole Mine and use that to uh, smelt down the rest. And with that, you will never have ammo issues, you'll never have issues repairing your armor, and you will be set for life in terms of the core mechanics of the game, shooting and uh, staying alive. And as mentioned at the very beginning of the video, you can always hit up the nuke silos as well if you want to add that to your run, but you're going to have to finish the Enclave quest and get access to the three different bunkers. There are workout rooms there, but I don't think it's necessary. They're in the, you know, they're all over the map and it costs money to go to those areas. We're already Already getting you know <laughs> 1400 lead with my run not using the silos so it's always an option but there you guys go I'm gonna have plenty more guides I have funny moments I have all sorts of follow up videos in my channel check out the links in the description if you want to see more tips tricks and guides I have a whole playlist in the description as well as a funny moments if you want to have a laugh if you want to see the crazy things we do and follow check out the funny moments uh, and be sure to subscribe because there's gonna be uh, new videos on follow on the channel every other day more guides come mean and when the future content comes to the game i'm gonna be covering it right away so be sure to smash that subscribe button and uh leave it a like if you enjoyed the video thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye now